Yes! All right, so last time I did uh, Emerald Passage. And again, this is my first time playing through this game. And I've enjoyed it so far. Uh, maybe blue? Do red, maybe? Um, I'm gonna just say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip a coin. Heads or tails? Let's see, heads is red, tails is blue. It is heads. Yep, the coin, the coin knows all, that's correct. Also, this is, like, factory. I get real nostalgic about the Game Boy Advance. There's something about those chunky pixels. It just brings me back to so many good games. I said Advance Wars was one of them, but obviously the Metroid games. Minish Cap. Even the sound chip, which is a little bit... Well... Just the quality of it. The, the chip itself, like, some of the sounds are cool. Mother 3 soundtrack is obviously amazing. Do a tier list for um, Game Boy Advance games. Vinny, do you think you regret waiting so long to play Mother of Three? No. No, it was the right time. I'm just glad I played it eventually. Also, this is, um, a better game than, uh... ...than Wario Land Virtual Boy, if that wasn't incredibly apparent. I've already noticed that. Virtual Boy Wario Land was pretty good, though. I streamed that... ...a couple months ago, and, uh, it wasn't- it wasn't too bad. You gotta eat. Someone just wrote, Streamer, please move on to Odin Sphere. Thank you. Let me see if you got any other chat messages. Nope, that's the only one. I'm more inclined to, um, when I see a name I've seen around for a long time, and they're like, Vinny, please play DMC2. I'm like, haha, funny japes. But sometimes I'm like, wait, I think they're serious. Like, I think they want me to, like, stop playing the one game I'm playing now and move on to the very specific game that they like the best. It happens. I mean, again, I'm no longer surprised by much. I'm not upset. Fuck. No, <laughs> it's fine. I mean, you can request... You can request request all you like. So what's Odin Sphere? It's like DMC two. 
action JRPG. Oh, someone said it was like DMC2. <laughs> Vinny, can you please play Wario Land 4? Thanks. That's about the only request I can grant tonight. That's a good request. That's a good crust. Chin. I know, I understand what I have to do now. Okay. That rock needs to be uh, yeeted. Yo. Shit. Vinny, can you play Oppi Nurse 3 Hardcore Edition? Is that real? Violent Semen Inferno. You want me to play that? Like, why do I even bother putting away the bottle of scotch? That game is actually banned on Twitch. There's a lot of games banned on Twitch. Again, Second Life, which is barely a game, is banned on Twitch. Sure, you can stream it on um one of the the competitors that Twitch is currently uh battling, like um Shitbox. I absolutely did not mean to do that. Move your ass! I'm probably missing a whole assortment of hidden of hidden items. How are you so good at this game, Booty? I've never seen. There was a Star Trek Deep Space Nine documentary that was in theaters for one day only today, and I, I remembered to go see it until I forgot today. In theaters only at 7 p.m. For one day, it'll be released on like DVD and Blu-ray later. But it's uh, it's something I was really excited about. 
It's like uh, they restored like 20 to 30 minutes of uh, Deep Space Nine footage, right? It's like HD. And they just talked about the show. I really hope they do a whole renovation of that show. Not renovation, remaster. You know what I'm talking about, remaster. Restoration, yeah. I think it would cost a ton of money, and, and I don't think they think they can make it back. I don't think they... Whoa. I believe that they couldn't make it back, and they know they couldn't. Also, they'd have to redo all the effect shots, because the, um, the special effects in the old Star Trek shows were, um... Like, you can't transfer those over, I think. So, in- when they redid... ...the original series, they had to, like, actually get in there and redo... ...um, like, the- the effects of the Enterprise and any exterior shot. And then they did the same thing for the next generation, but I think they restored some of that footage. Anyway, this is Sunday Stream the level. What the fuck is this music? Oh, I see. I was supposed to not kill that guy. Little monkey felt throw. Oh! Give me the fruit. Hey chat, I'm uh just curious about something. I'm not a doctor or a professional. But I'm just wondering. If you get stabbed multiple times in the stomach, and then you swim through a, a sewer... ...and then you just, like, say, rest for a day or two... ...you're probably fine after that, right? You die. What do you mean, you die? That, no. Arya didn't die. Oh, never mind. What about if you get stabbed more than 99 times, but less than 100? This game is silly. Oh, you can just swim without taking damage. I thought the sewer was just stinky, toxic water. It's not. How am I gonna get Wario in there? I need to get him down there. Let's see. Yeah, Wario's immune to, like, um, piss and shit and vomit water. This is what his apartment looks like. That would be a cool game. Like, Luigi's Mansion, Wario's apartment. Or actually, wasn't that Waluigi? Waluigi had an apartment, right?
and then they both got one together and lived happily ever after. So that clip kind of went a lot of, um, a lot of places. I've been informed that the clip of Wario and Waluigi making out from last night has nearly 40,000... Yeah. Awful. Why would you promote that? Why would you spread that? Because it's funny. What's funny about Wario and Waluigi making out? I need a 13-page essay, otherwise I'm not ban unbanning your Fallout 76 account. Someone said, why would you stream that? The truth is, I just didn't know what it was, what, it, what I was getting myself into. It was, it was a jape. That's what Sunday stream kinda is. Even if the collections are vetted, and they are, mostly. There's still... some poo that gets through. Yeah, last night was probably in the top 10 worst Sunday streams I've done. I don't really care. I'm fine with it. All the, uh, the CD-ROM stuff was good, though. That was... Both terrible, terrifying, and kind of good. Well, not good, but it was funny. Except Zeep. Now again, everyone's saying, Vinny, you literally say that every Sunday. And fair enough, I do, but... There becomes a time... There comes a time when there's a Sunday stream worse than the other ones. Vinny, you say this every time you acknowledge that. This time... You're right, I do that, I do. But, but, this time, I double-dog mean it. Wario games are popular and why they sell. I think I figured it out. Sex appeal. I just hit a dead end. Oh, 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 I see, I see. Plat platforms. Scare me like that, Wario. 
So I'm gonna need a combination of both Arya, Arya Stark, and Wario, called Waria. And how one can swim in the sewer after receiving multiple lacerations and the other can't. Don't actually do that. I, I already saw a fucking... an aria Varus combination that was just nightmare-inducing. Rip the Golden Kern. What, like the Golden Company? Dead before a single... Uh, what, what's going on here? I missed the Golden Kern. I got two minutes, I'll be fine. Where is this fucking thing? Gods, I was strong then! It despawned. Oh, cool. Fetch me the breastplate stretcher! <laughs> What's your favorite vegetable? What is my favorite vegetable? I, I have several favorites. I, uh, crispy asparagus is pretty good. That's just the first one that comes to mind. Not my favorite, though. Broccoli? Yeah, I love broccoli. Um, Bobby B. Garlic? Yeah, I love garlic. Brussels sprouts, I, I know. Yeah, we talked about the vegetable thing a little bit here and there. I don't like butternut squash. Don't like it at all. I like, uh, summer squash or whatever the fuck that shit is. Zucchini. Someone wrote uh, a little while ago, I see you hate everything about GOT now. No, 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 I love the books. I love the first several seasons. Absolutely love them. This isn't just bandwagoning, it's just me making a decision. No, the internet told me not to enjoy myself while I watched the show last night. And so I didn't, and I wouldn't want to dare betray the internet. There was a rumor going around that, uh, George was waiting on the books until after the show was over for some reason to spite David and Dan or something. And it was going around, everyone's like, oh, when the show's over, George is gonna drop the last two books, they're, they're already done. And he wrote on his blog today, he was like, nope, not done! Of Thrones is that really long porno with fantasy and politics sprinkled in, right? That's what someone said in chat. See, as much as I hate the last season so far, I will defend the show and say that it is some of the best TV I've ever seen in the first couple seasons. So no, I know that's a, it's a good joke. I like that joke. That it's it's a porn. It's an elaborate porno with fantasy scenes, but they really move away from a lot of that later on. I know that's hilarious. It's just the reason why I care about this is because it brought me so much enjoyment. I was like, you know, again, really into it. I like fantasy, Lord of the Rings. How many times have you heard me talk about that? But now I'm just like, I don't know what's going on, man.
What's your opinion on the rumor that George will work on the next FromSoft game? I heard that rumor. I guess I'd be down for it. Um, I know if thing gets too big and, and people aren't into it, they immediately dismiss it and the creator. Which has happened with Game of Thrones because it gets annoying and it's become very, 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 very mainstream. And children are naming their daughters Khaleesi and Daenerys. Ooh. But, um... Did I say daughters? People are naming their daughters Khaleesi and Daenerys. Anyway. But uh, the point I'm trying to make here is that uh, George R. R. Martin is, is a fantastic writer. And uh, I, I really enjoy his writing. And, um... I mean, he's not writing Game of Thrones, he's not writing Song of Ice and Fire anymore, so you may as well have him do the FromSoft game. He's probably not busy. People watching GOT at bars is surreal to me. Well, that's the other thing, too. It, it became, like, like sports. I realized this the other day. I was like, there are people who are watching this shit like it's football. Everybody expects me to be into GOT, but I'm so- so bored of it. You're not... You don't have to like anything you don't want to. Remember that. Just like that person who told me, Vinny, you need to stop watching mainstream TV. They told me to watch more documentaries. I've been watching more documentaries, actually. I watched one about, uh, The Price is Right, and how some dude had the perfect answers. I did. I watched one about John Fookin Lennon. Um, but there was this dude in, in, uh, fucking, in The Price is Right, who memorized the prices of... ...almost every item. And he built himself a little, like, game... ...with a spreadsheet. And he had, like, a photographic memory for this shit. And he would help out people in the audience, and people were getting suspicious of him. And someone ended up getting, like, an exact bid... Uh, during Drew Carey's run, and it turned into, like, this big investigation, kind of. Not an investigation, but it was like, do we- what do we do about this? So they had to, like, change up their games. He actually ended up not winning as much on his own run, but other people won. Vinny, maximum vine blind? What did I vine blind? Up here? Pipe. Oh, okay. Yeah, I unlocked the pipe and then I was just talking. I was like, oh, I don't want that now, do I? Guess I did. Watch, I got this. I was just, I was just, jump, I was just Charleson. Come on, I'm not that werewolves. the best mockumentary. Um, I'm partial to Spinal Tap, but my current love for what we do in the shadows might overshadow that. Maybe a little bit, but Spinal Tap is like one of the first, if not the first, and it's, it's still probably... still probably my favorite. <laughs>
Vinny, you saw the movie before the series, right? Yeah. Vinny, someone has probably named their kid after you. It, it has happened. I, I've received an email about it at one point, and I just summarily ignored it because it was too weird for me. It's also a pretty common name. It's not like they're naming their child Kal, K-H-A-L, which is a title, by the way. Did they name it Vine Sauce? No, they named- they named the child Vinny. Frequently, people tell me they named their pets, uh, Vinny. Which, I mean, have fun. Everyone- everyone's gonna think they're in the mob. Oh, hey, Vinny! How you doing? It's also, you know, a very common name here, but it's rare online, so people frequently say I'm the only Vinny that they've ever met or spoken to or know from the internet. And... I mean, over here, it's like... Yeah, it's super common. But, um, it, it always goes back to the mob thing. Or like, oh, you must like pizza. It's like, how dare you be right about that? I I absolutely do like pizza and pasta. I like to make the thing with my fingers, the Vine Italian. You know what else I like to do? I like to have the moon hit your eye like a bigger pizza pie. Because that's amore. you like jumping and going down pipes? I certainly would if I could. Seen any pipes lately? This is where Vinny fails at Baby Wario games. This is going to require a little bit more thought and patience. I used the wrong hill. Why does Wario have elf ears? Swimming in sewage, I guess? Game design. Vinny, I found a funny Lord of the Rings meme. Can I send it to you? <laughs> How about this? Okay. I want you to do me even one better. Just describe it to me. I got your chat open so I can see your messages. Just to tell me what it, what it's like and I'll let you know if it's good. Oh, 
You can describe a meme. <laughs> I'm sure you can. You, right? It's Frodo riding a scooter, and the caption says, When you destroyed the One Ring and brought lasting peace to the realm, and he's smiling. Alright, yo, tw send that to me. I'm gonna need- send that to me. That's a little spicy. Hmm, how do I get the other shit over here? Oh, regular rolls. Right, 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 right. Like a duck roll. Not from there, though. You gotta use your, your brain when you play this game. You can't just mindlessly fuck about. This game is, is clever, and I'm not smart enough for it. Yeah, but now, how do I get down there? It's a whole different gem. Ah, whatever. With the snow, you can jump down. Oh, down there, right, because there's a little thing there. Okay. Very bad. Again, clever game. Not so clever streamer. Now I'm regretting not going in that fucking pipe. I thought the pipe was the way out. I thought this was the secret. Purple pipes are bonus rooms. So there are always bonus rooms then. I just never get any of those CDs. Anyway, Frodo wouldn't have been happy in riding a scooter. Like, I'm still very curious about this Mei Mei, but... Um, the point of... The point of it was that, you know, he, he was scarred for life. By the ring raids, by the, the carrying the ring. And there's always pain, even though he tried to get back to normal. You know, the Shire, when they get back... Fucking Saruman was there, waiting for them. It's not in the movie, but the scouring of the Shire is... A very good subversion of expectations in a way that you didn't really expect because the hobbits then have to realize that no one's going to protect them, they have to protect themselves. So they use all that they've learned throughout the story to um, eliminate 
well, uh, to remove Saruman and his his cronies, his sickos, from the Shire, so that peace can return, at least for a while, and then, you know, Frodo has to sail off to the Grey Havens because the pain of being a ring bearer is so great that the elves say, you know what, Frodo? You bow to no one. You earn this. Then is this legit or are you having a go? No, this is real. I get why it wasn't in the film. The scouring of, Shire, of the Shire would have been too... I think it would have been too anticlimactic. It would have been, like, confusing for audiences. It works really well on a literary level, but I don't think it would have worked as well in, uh, in a film. Extended edition, though, that would have been nice if they filmed it for the extended edition. They had, like, 17 endings already without that, so I get why, but there is, you know, that was what Tolkien was trying to do with Frodo, was to show, and not just him, but the rest of the Hobbits, that, yeah, I mean, they saved the world, but at what cost? And, uh, it was, it's really bit it's bittersweet in the best sense of the word. Did it cost everything, my child? Thank you, Joel. My birthday was it was a, it was another day. I'm glad it's I'm glad it's gone. I did the best I could to enjoy it, and now it's now it's back to me talking about Frodo. Uh, that person said they tweeted it. To me, uh, you gotta tweet it to at Vinny Vine Sauce if you want me to see the meme. So if you tweeted it to just at Vine Sauce, I won't see it, sadly. You know why? Because it reminds me. It reminds me of my favorite hobby. So, uh, Adam Sandler. I have a question for you. This almost sounds like cowboy music. Let's see if I got the meme. I got it. Here we go. Now, here's the thing. The difference is, it's not Frodo on a scooter. It's Elijah Wood. Now, I like this. It's not... I don't know if this is a meme. It's not particularly funny. But it's kind of cute. Because he's, he's smiling, he's riding a scooter. I just want to say that it's kind of weird seeing Elijah Wood grown up, especially with a mustache. But, uh, thank you for that meme. I, I'm, I'm, I'm down for that. That was alright. I'll take it. Thanks for that. Wasn't he, like, 30 in Lord of the Rings? No, he was, he was, like, 19. I think he turned 19 when he first started filming. And then, um, he was... Like, 23 or 4 when they stopped doing pickups years later, and then he was like 30-something in The Hobbit, and he ended up playing Frodo again, and looking still kind of young. This is a really... <laughs> this is a really bizarre level after that last one. Talk about fucking tonal whiplash. In a good way, though. This game has more variety than I thought it would. It's 
speaking of memes, uh, did anyone send you the Mandalore Gaming interview with Sean Astin about who was better at video games? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he can make controllers levitate with his mind. That's what he said he could do. I'm really good at, like, letting those uh, gold coins just disappear. So, chat, what do I want to do tomorrow? Tomorrow, I have the day, and I want to spend some time- I want to do something nice for my birthday. Even though my birthday was yesterday, I didn't do anything for it. Do I want to see Detective Pikachu movie? Or do I want to go back to the Metropolitan Art Museum and check out more Egyptian stuff? Because I didn't get a chance to see floors 2 and 3, I only saw floor 1. Which is not nearly enough. Why not both? No, I can only do one thing per day. Pancake bread. Oh, I was supposed to get pancake. All right, never mind. It's pancake bread and Pikachu, so I'll do two things. Thanks. Pikachu, pancake bread, and then I have to do some actual like things. trip into the city is, is dark and full of shadows. It's a very, very annoying trip, especially near rush hour. Wow, this is, this is a hell of a, a hell of a thing happening right now. Wow! Vinny, do you like stand-up comedy? I do. I saw some some really good ones. I saw Hannibal, Chris Rock, um, Joey Diaz. He just talked about his dick a lot and uh, his farts. And uh, <laughs> Eric Andre, the same night as those others. Chris Rock was great. Um, he still does stand-up. I don't think he's trying to do like giant. HBO specials anymore, but he still does it. Alright, dog. Dog, I'm gonna tell you about the time I went into a club and pissed on someone, dog. Vinny, you missed a jewel box in the previous room. Yeah, Eric Andre's humor is is very I don't think I can get this right now. Eric Andre's humor is very specific, and I know it's become like let me in and bird up and ranch, legalize ranch and all that stuff. It's like, you know, memes, but his stand-up was pretty good until he ran out of material. <laughs> there was a distinct lack of confidence halfway through his set, and I was like, And then he just started, like, touching the wall a lot at the Comedy Cellar. Or, yeah, I think it was the Comedy Cellar. Or Gotham? I forget which one it was. Caroline's, Caroline's. I, I don't know if it was part of the act or if he was on psychedelics during the uh, performance. I see. I would have never figured that out. It's been like, oh, I'm missing an item. What kind of items? Definitely on purpose for him. Yeah, he was good. I'm not saying he was bad. It's just, again, his his humor... It was a little less crazy randomness when compared to the show. 
It was more... It was good, and I liked the show. But it, it felt more like, um... Yeah, like stand-up. It was just like stand-up comedy. You can break the blocks in the previous room for a chest. Oh, come on. That was, that was good. Vinny, please break the blocks in the previous level. Oh. Vroom. Vinny, would you do stand-up? We've talked about this on stream, I think. I'm not funny. Believe it or not, I'm here to tell you now in case anyone does think I'm funny. If, in case anyone's fooled and has, has misconstrued uh, Vine Sauce's entertainment since 2010. What I would do is, yeah, I would just, like, it would just be duck noises. said Vin has pretty bad imposter syndrome, to be honest. <laughs> yes, I do. But no, I, I have always loved, I've always liked stand-up, and I've always wanted to do it. Um, I've always wanted to do it on some level, and when I do panels, that's kind of fun for me, because it almost feels like that. I do feel pretty confident with a microphone and, and talking, you know, into a group of people. I just don't think I would be funny enough to do actual stand-up. And then again, like, you have to hone your craft and... You have to really, like, put the work in. Like, the only way to get better at stand-up is to do more stand-up, which means you have to bomb. A lot. And just, you know, keep going, keep doing it, keep going, keep doing it, and then eventually... You might get okay at it. And even then, making a career is tough, and then you'd have to travel all over the place. I'm a homebody as well, so... I don't think I could do it. And I appreciate that people are nice enough to say, Oh, you're pretty funny, Vin. That's cool. No, no, no. That's a whole different skill. I don't have that. And then writing material, that's not something I do. I might tell you guys about something that happens throughout my life, throughout the day. And I can maybe come up with, like, a little bit, or a punchline of some sort, but... Thank God... You know, I don't have to come up with an hour or four hours of fresh material every night. I mean, even for a stand-up act... For, like, a special... You have to do an hour. It could take some comedians up to a year to create a new hour. Vinny, do your classics. I don't remember a lot of the bits that people like from the streams over the years. Like, I know I've had some good setups and punchlines here and there, even if accidentally, but I don't remember them. It's no, Spin isn't a joke. <laughs> no, I mean, how dare you take Spin? as a joke. That's just deadly serious. It's just a- it's just a word. Imagine me going on stage at Gotham Comedy Club. Alright, and we got Vinny on. Vinny Vine Sauce tonight. First time doing stand-up. And, uh, oh, you don't know who he is? All of you? Okay, well, you're in for a treat because this guy, he's got an audience on the internet. You're gonna love him. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Crickets. Whoa. 
one person high as fuck is probably going mental in the audience. They are very much appreciated. The guy on drugs is definitely gonna spin. And then, Vinny, you're doing a bit right now. There you go. I guess it is a bit. Mistakes into miracles, I guess. Someone just wrote a bit insane. Get on stage and do the depowering Arnold voice. No, I should go to Saturday Night Live. And I should say, hey, I would love to be a cast member on the show. You know, like Kyle started out, Kyle Mooney started out on YouTube. Alright, alright, um, well, Vinny, uh, what do you have for us? What? Well, Lorne, this one kills. You're gonna love it. Okay, what is it? Well, let's, uh, let's, let's see it. What's, what's your act? Okay... Okay. Jamie! It's me, your father! I, I need the cookies or I am losing power, Jamie. I need the cookies. I need them. Okay, no, no, no. H hang on a minute. This... The, what do you think this is? You dare defile the sanctity of Saturday Night Live headquarters? Keenan, take him out. Keenan. Why is he Dr. Evil? No, no, no. Why is Dr. Evil Lorne Michaels? Lorne Michaels is the dude who uh, runs Saturday Night Live. And he sounds a bit like that. And Mike Myers based the voice of Dr. Evil on him. So there you go. No, no, that's not japes. It's not japes. That's too mundane for a good jape. Vinny, are you going to play Rage 2? No. You know, I have to think about that for a second, because I've had people request Rage 2 a little bit, and, and I like I guess I like shooting games that are dumb. But I'll be real with you. I don't really I don't think I'm interested at all. Wow, that that took a lot longer than I thought it would. Open world doom. That was just for coins. Oh. Then it wishes it was. That's being generous. Someone just wrote, but the PR manager for that game is zany. They tweet wacky stuff. Yo, they tweet wacky stuff? Let me ask you a question, son. Do they... Do they do like Wendy's do? Because Wendy's, man, them spicy chicken nuggets, they do, do some hilarious things with those. I gotta, you know, I gotta give him, I gotta give him credit. 
Wendy's figured it out better than almost any... any other corporation. Because it works on people. It does work on people, and people do think that Wendy's is just like their bra. Like, and Wendy's like, why don't you Netflix and chill with Wendy? Get yourself some spicy chicken McNug while you're at it. Oh yeah, and then, it, that's the other thing too, they're, they're just very snarky. Yeah. They just, there's a lot of snark. And then they like, uh, they throw shade at other, like, fast food, uh, places. sure what else to do here. I, like, I'm yeeting these things, but... Oh. Well, that explains it. Lots of hidden blocks. Uh, this is a kind of... I like the... the relaxing nature of this level compared to the other ones. It's like more puzzle solvy and and ye your yeet powers are, you know, put to great test put to the test, but at the same time, I, I don't think this is one of my favorite levels. So far. Like, I like the gorillas in the background. Those are, those are pretty cool, I guess. Once you start looking for hidden stuff, it becomes kind of fun, though. Hello, Vinny. Are you at all interested in watching the HBO miniseries Chernobyl? Hello, HBO ad executive. Well, um, I hope my check is in the mail, because I've already mentioned that show, HBO's Chernobyl television show, uh, about three times tonight. And uh, the answer is yes, I might be checking it out soon. I'm interested in said show, especially considering that HBO's cash cow is coming to a close in a very disappointing way. Jokes aside, uh, joke I say, but no, I, I'm actually, I'm going to watch it tonight, probably. I was going to watch The Matrix <laughs> for some reason, just because I haven't seen it in a while. I'm like, wait, man, this movie's still good, right? Like, it, yeah, I've seen it so many times. It's got to be good. I'll probably just watch that instead. Probably because of the Matrix 4. Oh, yeah, the, we were talking about Matrix 4 potentially happening. Oh, I wanted to give a quick thank you. Uh, several people sent me uh, some birthday stuff. I, I will take a picture of it all. Um, I already mentioned some of it, like the frog car and the crab, but today I went and I got a duck. It's a pretty cool duck. I got a Chrono Trigger clock. I just slurred that word by accident. I was it's like I'm drunk I'm not um maybe tired yeah chrono trigger clock very nice thank you and what else did I get I got so a little so there's a duck chrono trigger thing and then there was one other thing it's um oh a trash game for a Sunday which isn't very much of a birthday gift but I'll take it more of a gift for all you, I guess. You know how to make this old dog really, uh... This old dog. 
really feel special on this day of restitution. I don't even know what that really means. Is that a Mac DeMarco album? This old dog? Oh no, looks like I'm seeing more of my old man in me. This old chunk of coal. You really know how to make this old chunk of coal feel good. Someone said his new album is so bad. People are shitting on it pretty hard. I like some songs on there, though. I think On the Square and Nobody are as good as anything he's done before. And there's a couple other ones in there that are pretty good. But yeah, he's going a little fucking mental lately. And then... You have classics like... <laughs> Here comes the cowboy. <laughs> the audacity! The audacity. Here comes the cowboy. Of this man to make a song like this. There's some really nice, sweet little songs in there, though, and, and you really... I guess that's the thing to consider when you listen to it. It's not all radio singles, like Jeff said. It's, it's kind of its own thing. Vinny, what are you doing? I'm pooping back and forth forever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know why I'm going. Oh, here it is. But yeah, there are some songs on that album I won't be returning to very often, if at all. It's just, you know, personal taste, and also I think Mac just... I feel like some of the songs don't sound done. I'm not done! Put me back! Oh my god. Oh god, I see what's going on here now. Oh, I hate it. electricity. This on hard, super hard, and this room is miserable. Wait, wait, there's a hard mode in this game? Get in there. Get in there. Yeah, get in there. No, I don't know. Oh, there it is. I, 
And more? More? Fuck off! Oh my god. Oh great, now that's up there. Oh. Look, it's it's Deep Space 9. I hope I got this right. Oh! I guess not. Oh, I have to ground pound that shit. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I have to throw an enemy through the side. Nope. Minute 30 left. Minute, not even a minute 30. Oh, and we're gonna shoot lightning, too. <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you, game! Fuck you, Baltimore! that rewind button no 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 rewind doesn't work no 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 why doesn't it work why doesn't it work It's not working. It's it, is it not enabled? No. Controller. Rewind. Held. No. I hate that level. This is one time where I don't, I like, I would just, I, yeah, I would rewind. I would just rewind. I, I, and I, for some reason, I guess, I guess it's not enabled on my legit Game Boy. Um, what the fuck? I... 
I don't know. I can't find a setting to enable it either. I don't know what's going on. This is really not something. Yank Game Pack. I've not seen this before. Just accept your fate. <sighs> the Rewind History. Where is that, Nari? Okay, never mind then. I can't find it. I mean, I deserve it to some extent, for sure. I wasn't paying enough attention. It's just... Boy, does that suck. Yeah, I can't fucking do that level again tonight. I'll probably just do it another time and, and deal with it. I'll, I'll just put it off. I'll just in the garden it. Very scared about these ghosts, though. The astounding thing is I almost found myself complaining about Wario having a life bar where he didn't in previous games, which is one of the reasons I liked this game, or the idea of playing it, is because I- there is a life bar, there are hearts. So I have no right to complain. salt talking, I know. It's just a shame. Any other level, I would just accept my fate and be like, alright. I fucked up. It's fine. But that level was... Eef. People are saying um, that that's the worst level in the game. Missed a secret. And not only is it the worst level in the game, now it's doubly the worst level in the game, though. It's not just because it's tedious, but now I have to do it twice. So I'm going to extra hate that level. Alright, they don't respawn if they drop money. Then you gotta try dashing into suspicious walls more often. 
Okay, I did it. So it turns out this is not Bappy Games entirely. Okay, glad, glad I missed that cool heart up there. A little bit Bappy Games, but you know, I'm, I'm worse at Bappy Games than I am at Sekiro, so... you beat Sekiro, some people quit the final boss. I found, um, the Demon of Hatred to be more difficult. Maybe even Second Owl. Oh, you can't get, like, a high jump if you're, like... That was a weird thing. Mario kept trying to, like, duck down into it. Um... Yeah, I don't know. The Sekiro stuff was once you once you get going, you, you gotta you gotta see it through. You can't just quit. Not even for like props. Not even to like say you did it for bragging rights, but just to like you know you spend thirty something hours on a video game. Quitting? No, nah, man. I can't even say- you know what? I did- I did quit a game. I can't even say that. I spent 20 to 30 hours or whatever it was on the last story on the Wii, which was a JRPG with a, a weird, like, it was alright. Like, I had a battle system that I didn't really love, and um, it was like an hour boss fight. That takes an hour. It's not like you can just get good and do it in, you know, ten minutes. Or five minutes. It was like, you have to th go through the whole hour slowly whittling down the enemy's health. Doing all the right moves for like over an hour. And then you just have to do it again if you die, and I died. Um, Vinny, don't forget Wonderful 101. I never- here's the difference. I've quit a lot of games. I've quit a lot of games halfway through, or a quarter of the way through, which was Wonderful 101 for some reason. I guess I just wasn't feeling it. Never say never to second chances for that game, but I also would very much like to never, like, uncrust my Wii U to play it, so hopefully it'll come to Switch. But, um... The difference is, yeah, I've, there's way less games that I've given up at the final boss. That feels a little bit worse, like, you get that close. Like, put- put the time in. Darkest Dungeon, yeah, Darkest Dungeon, though, never felt like it had a fucking ending. And I would always- th that wasn't just, like, a story game where, like, oh, we're gonna go from point A to point B, and then win the game. That was, like, you could play that game for 150 hours and still not win. Yeah, I know it has an ending. I know the game has an ending. It's just a matter of... I was just... garbage at it. Just tra like, fucking pure garbage at that game. 
there were times where, you know, I had my moments. I was like, oh, this is, I'm getting this. And then I would forget, and then they would, like, patch something and change it. And it just got too, um... I, th I didn't see the end in sight. I kept doing, like, um... I kept doing the same missions over and over and over again. And not feeling like there was any, any hope. No light at the end of the Dark Dungeon for me. Which is why Darkest Dungeon 2... I'm gonna start with a, a goal to finish it. You know, like, have a clean slate. Um, the other problem was, too, there was a, a different mode that, like, lowered the grinding. Which is cool and everything. And I, it's a, much appreciated, but at that point I was just like, I don't think I want to play this game anymore. I would still recommend Darkest Dungeon, by the way, even though I quit and never saw the ending. I spent like 80 hours in that game, maybe a little bit less. I still think it's a great game, and if you try it on the mode that requires less grind, maybe you'll enjoy it more than I did. But I still think it's a, a really fun, beautiful game that gets very frustrating. Then you're gonna stream the other Mario and Luigi games. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to stream those games. At least, maybe not all of them. Uh, I've been debating which one to go to next. It depends on, on how I'm feeling about, like, playing RPGs. It depends on how many new games are coming out that I want to play. If there's, like, a really dry release schedule, then, um, I'm much more inclined to play something classic, something older. Where'd the, where'd the key go? <laughs> the ghost took the key. God, Yoshi's Island flashback, stop! This game really knows how to ratchet up tension. I don't know where to go now. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. So very short on health there, too. Uh, alright, I'm gonna stop playing this game now. It seems like... It seems like I could do maybe, like, four or five levels per stream. You know, not counting, um... 
the ones that uh, I die on immediately. Yeah, anyway, I've, I'm very tired today for some reason, so I'm gonna get going. Well, it's, it's like fucking 3.30. Oh, Sunday stream is here again. <laughs> oh, okay. What? Human voice? Thanks for watching the stream. That was fun. Wario Land 4. We'll do more of that eventually. <laughs> 